Here's the Maiden of the Skywing Edge 540. I want to kind of preface some of this with I'm not a good 3D guy. I'm just trying to figure this stuff out. So this was the next level for me at least. I had the E-Flight Ultimate, had some fun with it, learned a lot, crashed it. Uh, wasn't exactly what I was hoping for. Then was introduced to the ta uh, Twisted Hobbies Crack Yak, which everyone should own one. It is the most fun plane you'll ever have. Great to play with. Yes! <laughs> okay, now let's get on with it. So I've already posted a unboxing video, a pretty detailed build video on this. And so now you know, here's the throws I set up. Uh, this is the starting point for me. I'm going to continue to play with it, obviously, and make adjustments. But I, it, it did well for me. And I'm, again, not an expert 3D pilot by any stretch of the imagination. But it was perfect for me to just get started on this. So upcoming now is the uh, maiden flight. I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. Have a great day. All right, maiden left. Right, up, down. These are low rates, but I've got a lot of expo on them. So hopefully this goes as planned. Gonna get up, get it trimmed, and then check the CG. Here we go. Believe it or not, I haven't touched any trim, and it appears as though I don't need to. I've never had a plane that seemed to re require nothing. That's weird for me. Well, I think, let me try going inverted again. I, I think she's, that can't be. She's, I pushed forward on that stick when I went inverted. Wow, what a smooth, amazing plane. So Adam at Model Aviator is the, the responsible for this. He's the one that told me I need to get this. So just flying it around, getting used to it. These are low rates. All right, I'm, I'm kind of excited. The fact that it's not causing me all kinds of issues on, I'm gonna do a little. Wow. <laughs> Adam. You were right. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this plane. Just learning how to fly it and just having fun with it. What a slow flying. Uh, right there. Just cruising around at around 60% throttle. Maybe a touch of aileron. But I haven't had to touch the elevator. I think the CG is good. Yeah. Holy moly. That's going to be a lot of fun to play with. <laughs> all right. All right. I got to I got to actually do something. I got to do a stall test. <laughs> Backing off throttle, stall, stall, stall. Pull back and it just floats down. I'm going to do a little stall test again. Backing off. You know, for the most part, it, it didn't drop a wing. I got to play around with the envelope a little bit, but it was pretty decent. I had to add a little bit down elevator on my knife edge, just ever so slightly, which I think I'm okay with. Oh, yep. 
get it into the Harrier. Uh, it, not like my my Crack Yak. Uh, I had to play around with that throttle on the elevator a little bit more to get used to it. But we'll get there. At least a couple test landings. She will slow down quite a bit on landings. Um, until then, she drops out of the sky. And so just be cautious of that and keep some power on a little bit. Um, don't let her stall on you. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this plane. I've flown for almost four minutes. I still have 3.8 in it. What a floaty, floaty plane. I got about 10% throttle. Oh, a little hard on that one. Kind of got fixated on her. <laughs> That's okay. She, I think she'll land really smooth. <laughs> all in all, for me, it, this is a perfect next step plane. I'll be able to learn a lot with it from uh, aerobatics and maybe do some freestyle uh, 3D types of things. We'll get there. Uh, it definitely is a purpose built plane for this, and it shows on my initial flights. So stay tuned. I'm sure I'll have a lot more videos on this plane. Thanks for watching.